back in Yosemite this morning. I'm going to try for a short day again. Try being the operative word. Try for Coxcomb and Unicorn Peaks. I think we're looking for the Elizabeth Lake Trailhead today. So we're headed off into the Tuolumne Meadows Campground. Uh oh, did I say lake? Oh boy. Yes, this is it. Guess we found the trailhead in the campground. It's very annoying crossing snow under tree cover because you get all these big mounds. Quite the obstacle course. So I guess this is Unicorn Creek coming out of Elizabeth Lake, which should be just ahead. And that should be Unicorn on the right and Altuski, Chris says, on the left. We've kind of run into a bit of an impasse here, that being this creek. It's split here, but we can't get across one of the sides and we can't get across the main body either. Surveying our options as best we can, but they don't look too good. Well, this is one potential solution, albeit a little risky. Seems pretty thick though, so Chris is going to give it a try. Good enough. Problem solved. Time to go see Elizabeth Lake. There it is. Still got a lot of snow and ice on it though. Chris is pointing out all the avalanche debris out on the lake. Yeah, too bad I couldn't get the bear on the camera. At least not yet. Ran off too fast. Oh, there he goes. He's way up there though. No crampons yet. Chris just never put his axe away after using it to check the snow bridge.
getting there, I guess. A little bit of class one. All right, we dropped our stuff and we're headed for the summit. Uh huh. Chris said, don't go this way. Not kidding. to the bushes. Okay, they're trees. Just wondering how long this is gonna last before we get in, into a dead end again. Okay. This is a little intimidating to me. Straightforward, huh? Mm -hmm. well, it looks a little better, but uh, <laughs> irreversible moves. Yes, please not. <laughs> there you go. Ooh, grunting. <laughs> yeah. I hope. That's good. That's See, no problem with that. No. We'll have to remember where that left foot is on the way down. Yeah. Okay, that was not too bad. Oh, a, uh, one of those, uh, what do you call it, piton thingies. <laughs> I don't think I want to do this part. Okay. Does that mean we're doing something right? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. This thing could be tough, though. Jeez. Well, it wasn't too bad on the way up. Uh, left foot out to that little knob. You on a spot? That could work. Yeah. Careful, Matt. Oh, here. I thought I had some, there we go. I thought I had some really good handholds to pull myself up this thing. This is just a little, this is kind of like you, uh, Butt scooting on the Echo Peaks. <laughs> nice little cavity right here to put your feet in. Okay. All the way up here at the top. You see this right here? Yeah, right there. Oh. Bang. Look at and then just over the lip here. Oh, you got it. Yeah, no problem. It's a piton rappel anchor. Uh huh. Ooh-wee. There he goes with the butt scoot again. <laughs> Anyone's wondering how he always tears his pants, wonder no more. So here's what stopped us. Chris thinks he can get up this rock here. 
but getting down is a no-no. Should be pretty simple from there. I'm kind of looking at going down around this way. I can get down into there. Then you got to hang on up above and get your feet onto something down there. And then kind of shimmy your way up this wall. Some pretty good handholds, it looks like, and maybe some good footholds. I think the one thing that's stopping us, though, is this. And this. Does not look like fun. Good views, though. Got cathedral over there. And the Echo Peaks. <laughs> and it's sunny. <laughs> Echo Ridge. Mathis Crest back there. There's a very intimidating coxcomb, too. So I think we're going to have to settle for our consolation prize of Altuski over there. Little consolation prize, middle summit. That guy's probably gonna get away now for now. Oh, careful. So if we would have been right there. But yeah, see that um the face that I was like looking at for a while? Yeah. There's some knobs on top. Yeah. But the feet down low are just smears. And uh, it's if you come in back down there. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, it's not easy to turn myself around up here. Yeah. I got it, I got it. There, now I'm more stable. So gee, Chris, is that my friend Daft Dome over there? Probably. The Falls Ridge behind it there? Is Falls Ridge the one with the reddish? Yes. Yeah. This has Lyell and McClure. Okay, on to Altuski. Here's the view from the south summit. You can do all of, them, all of them but the one that counts, unfortunately. Nice unobstructed view over there now. Yeah, lunch sounds pretty darn good right about now. Alright, just had a nice little lunch here at the saddle between Unicorn and Altuski. Gotta go get it. 
quick visit, then maybe go back and do some bouldering. Maybe even some glissades on the way down. All right, here's our consolation prize. I think we're higher than Unicorn at least. Yeah. That should be worth something. So that should be Echo Ridge. I guess the Echo Peaks are blocked now, aren't they? Yeah, more or less. Unless that's one of them back. No, I thought Echo Ridge was the high point. Echo Ridge is the high point. Yeah, and that's Coxcomb. Probably the Clark Range out there. Starting to know some of these places. Oh, doesn't that look like fun? That's Coxcomb. I think that's Cloud's Rest out there. Chris wasn't sure at first, but I think he agrees now. <laughs> 